What is up? This is your boy Asiago back at you again on 3 a.m. Thoughts. Okay, so before I get into that, into uh, today's topic, and I do say today because, uh, shoot, so I got another 11 a.m. shift today. Uh, so I woke up at 3 in the morning, got a couple of things done. Oh, it's so freaking, uh, well, a lot of things happened. Well, because I went to go out to get some breakfast, right? And I'm like, you know, I'm going to go uh, get, you know, take some money out of the bank and go to, uh, like, you know, Whataburger or something for, uh, for, for breakfast. And you, you want to know what happened? Freaking, I go to the bank, and I don't know if the ATM was just trying to be a freaking jerk to me this morning, or if it was this, if it was just out of money or something like that. Because man, I, I tried multiple times, you know, to get money out of there, and it just kept on like it, it just it said, "Oh, unable to process transaction." And I'm like, "Okay, whatever." And God, so 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 I got, so I didn't end up getting any money out, and so what ended up happening. As I just said, screw it. You know, let's just go to uh, the water river, you know, get some, uh, get some breakfast. So, I mean, well, I say let's, but I mean, I'm just talking about me. But anyways, so I went, so I go to the water burger and then I, and I, and I get my food, you know, actually, well, I was in the process of getting my food because, you know, the, the lady told me that my car kept on declining and I'm like, what the hell, what, what's going on here? You know, so forget, I tried the whole Google pay thing that wouldn't work at all because of my, because it didn't want to work my car. So I realized yeah I'll, i realized at that point you know i must have had something to do with me multiply inserting my damn car into the wells fargo atm over and over again because whenever i freaking try to unblock my car in the app who whoop did he do you know freaking it, it said it was blocked you know so i had to call the number unblock it you know so you know, and immediately you know I, I got the whole thing you know whole situation take, taken care of i got my food ate it while watching a couple of videos on youtube and here i am here I am now making a podcast. Oh yeah, and right before I did this, I put a load in, load in the dryer. So now, so now, so now, you know, by the, by the by the time this podcast is over, you know, I'll, I'll be able to take my clothes out. You know, I'll probably hang them and do all that kind of stuff. But anyways, you know, I'm not here to talk about mundane things like that. I'm here to talk about some weird. Yeah, and I do mean some weird. So, so I I remember a, a few, quite a few podcasts ago. I think it was back in season two. So I, I so I told y'all that uh any, anytime like i have like any weird dreams or just weird dr- lucid dream stories or whatever you know i'll bring it down here i'll bring it here on, onto the podcast for you to hear and so the other night i had this really really weird dream actually it was so weird uh like i like as soon as i woke up i knew i had to write it down and i wrote it down you know as much as much in detail as possible and oh my god it reminds me back in the old days and never i'd have freaking lucid dreams or whatever not just write them down Ooh man, some good stuff right here. But or I should I say some weird stuff. All right, so let's get to it. So I uh, I'm labeling this uh, dream blue meat. Yeah, you you heard me, blue meat. Now I'm not talking about blue crawfish. And I'm not talking about no freaking oh you know it's just kind of got that bluish hint. No, I, I mean like legit. Like I'm we're talking about like freaking agua blue freaking me like you know that's not something you, you should see that's something that shouldn't be possible but in the realm of dreams you know pretty much anything can be possible all right so so i, I had this dream you know uh, i had this dream where i was at a strange water burger in a strange land now that's that sounds kind of weird but i mean, I mean just, just bear with me here like it, it, it was a water burger you know and it wasn't just like any any water burger like it was almost like like a like a diner you know because it, it felt quite small and, and if you know and if it had that little that diner vibe you know there was some live country music go, going on in, in the corner there like you know a guy with a banjo a guy on the drums and a guy with an acoustic guitar you know playing playing some uh you know some some old school riffs you know it sounds so good uh, although i had no idea what they were playing and i'm not sure if it was my freaking alarm clock from because i have this alarm clock right next to my bed and and so sometimes I, i'll set it to either the, the classic rock station or the country station and i don't know if this it was just my freaking alarm clock making the music or whatever but whatever it was it sounded good but anyways here's another weird thing about it uh so the menus you know the, the menus uh they have up at the freaking uh you know counter like i mean it looked pretty much like the like you would see typically see when you go into a, like any fast food restaurant except all like the individual uh like panels they were they were like 
old school CRT screens. Now, like not 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 the four by threes. No, I'm talking about like freaking the the kinds you would see like on an old arcade machine, kind of like the long yeah the long uh, vertical screens, something like that. And, and the weird thing about these CRT screens is they had like pictures of food and to and topics for a podcast that I, par I apparently did in that universe. How did I figure out that they were based on my podcast from that universe? I'm not sure. I just kind of figured that out. I mean, it is my dream after all. So, I mean, you never know. That could be the, the whole shebang. But, let's see. And aside from that, and despite this place being kind of small, it had a, it had a, had a, it had a little closed off area where it had like a kid's playground, you know, kind of like a McDonald's or, or an old Burger King. And, uh, and, but that's the weird funny thing is, is that that same closed off area with the playground was also the smokers area. And you know, this what in this closed off area, it wasn't outside. It wasn't open roof. No, it was just straight up just a closed in section. Just imagine that, you know, freaking being a kid playing around on a playground and then like while you're inhaling freaking carcinogens or whatever in the air like oh my god like i mean this this place was freaking weird man like i don't know why i don't know why my brain came up with this stuff but shoot anyways uh so the tables were kind of like long slabs so usually you know when you go to a diner you know you, you got the counter which also doubles as a you know as a freaking uh what you call it you know long table you know kind of like a waffle house you know that's like the best example i can go with there the place yeah the whole this whole diner restaurant water breaker thing was kind of was kind of kind of laid, laid out as like a like a waffle house except you know except having like multiple booths you know along the sides of the restaurant no like it, it was kind of like shaped uh, to the point to where we had like there were multiple long slabs of, of uh you know, tables and the best way i can describe that is uh <laughs> shoot uh, so I don't, I'm not sure if this was like common in science classes back in middle school and high school, but specifically in my middle school, I had this, uh, I had this teacher, you know, her name was Miss Moley and, uh, and you know, she was, she was my sixth and seventh grade math, uh, well, yeah, science teacher. And so she, the, the whole classroom was laid out like a science, it was kind of like a science lab, you know, but except they didn't have like big old tables everywhere. No, there were these long freaking tables like now went from one end of the room to the other. And, you know, like, basically, if, you know, if we want to get tentacle with it, it was only, like, maybe five, uh, yeah, like, five freaking, uh, rows, like, five rows, only five, de uh, desks in total. They just had multiple chairs in them, you know, I, I think as everyone's desk. And pretty much that's how, uh, th that was how, like, the tables were laid out in this, uh, weird freaking Whataburger I was at, this Whataburger diner. <laughs> Like again, the whole size proportion, everything being small, yet having all this stuff in it, I know it, it's very disorienting. But whatever, you know, it's a, it, it's a dream, and this is what I remember uh, seeing. So, but but anyways, so these are long slabs that stretch across the room, having many chairs, kind of like a science class, and uh, shoot, and, and the tables, they all had stoves on them. Now, like. Shoot, like again, these weren't individual tables. Tables, they were long slabs, but like they're kind of like they, they're kind of separated by the fact that they all had stoves on them. Now, like I'm talking about, kind of like a hibachi grill kind of thing, you know, where they uh, where the where those freaking dudes they cook right in front of you, like right on the table. It was it was something like that, you know, and that's kind of like that's really how you would kind of separate, you know, everyone in this long continuous slab by freaking just putting stoves at, at you know on on the freaking right of everybody, and it, it looked kind of cool, you know, I'm not gonna lie, but then I thought. This is this is kind of weird for a diner. This is kind of weird for really anything. Like, what if I'm freaking eating? And because the thing about these stoves is that you have to know where they were, because they weren't like cause, you know, because they weren't like a, a different color from the rest of the table. No, like this, these entire tables were black, and the freaking stoves they were also black, and there was no line or anything indicating that where it started and ended. You're like you just kind of had to have a feel for it and so like what if you're eating you accidentally turn the stove on and then you freaking end up burning your damn uh i don't know your elbow or something like that because you're eating <laughs> i don't know but but anyways you know let's not talk about logic here this is a freaking dream we're talking about all right so anyways shoot <laughs> yeah so the actual stove services were not labeled so you need to be careful <laughs> where you know where they are at where you're eating whatever and uh shoot and so the what and the what this water burger 
serves these big old strange meatloaf wedges you know they, they're, they're kind of like new york steaks uh let's see the best example well obviously a new york steak except they weren't exactly the steaks you know they, they were like literally this big old like wedges of just straight ground beef seasoned with a special like diner uh seasoning and it, it, it smelled pretty good but again they, they just gave you the raw meat when you ordered it yeah it, it's weird like you know they want they're not gonna go go back and cook it in the kitchen for you no like you order that sucker they'll just bring it out bring out to you a just big old slab of freaking raw meat and <laughs> yeah but i mean what, what whatever despite knowing how how uh, despite me knowing how that that's how it worked i decided hey you know what i want one of those you know hey you, hey waiter you know I, I want this you know this weird thing right here i want it you know i want, I want to try it you know a big old meatloaf wedge so 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 the so they gave me and everyone else who ordered ordered the uh, wedges a big old slab of raw meat and yeah and so like i said the custom was to cook the meat yourself by using the on table stove and and i i'm again i i like i said i don't want to apply logic to a dream but I'm, I'm just thinking why why would the why would a restaurant tell you to cook your own meat like, I, like I, I, I really don't understand. You have people complaining about the freaking self-checkouts because they're, they're like, oh, well, I don't want to be doing someone else's job. Uh, but then I'm over here freaking cooking me, cooking my own freaking meat at a diner. Oh, well, I'm definitely stealing someone's job. I'm not going to complain about this. <sighs> well, well, whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. So, but then, like, here's where it gets weirder. So, I, like, I was looking around because because i was wondering okay you know how uh, like what 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 i do now they just gave me the meat and they gave me no further instruction so the late so i was looking at the lady right next to me so she got her raw meat and she used it to control the stove functions on the front of her below the table so let me give you some perspective you know how like in a like a freaking personal desk you know uh like the computer desk i'm using right now you know it's got this like little drawer you know that you pull out and you can put the keyboard in there like that's kind of where they uh you know where the stove controls would be at you know like like an actual stove you know it's on it's like it's kind of on the side right below where you actually cook and but here's the weird thing like you had to get the raw meat you had to stick it on like the the dial just to get it to work and you had to turn it to how hot you wanted it to be and i'm like why <laughs> like why, why would you do that and so freaking but I, apparently that's how it works so i did the same and it worked for me and and again i'm, I'm still here questioning why the hell are we cooking our own meat for like, uh, and I'm guessing it was just so, you know, uh, we, we can cook it, you know, as, as however we want it. You know, medium rare, rare, freaking well done. It don't, don't freaking matter. You know, you can do it yourself. I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 I'm like, it's all blur. It's all weird to me. I mean, oh, well, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> so, <laughs> you had to use the meat to control the stove dial. And shoot i did the same i had a little trouble with it because my because like my my raw meat you know it was like it was falling apart because i was going i was like pushing it too hard you know trying to freaking get the damn thing to function right i don't know maybe mine was defective or some or maybe it was because of the fact that you know my suspension of reality was you know was fading away but anyway so as i was cooking i looked around and, and noticed that the sides you know were optional and, and there were on these little like they're, they're on the tables on these little displays so and so these the you know these sides you know normally when you go to any like diner or burger place or whatever you know you get a burger or you get any sort of like meat like chicken or whatever you usually get fries or something like that you know which is, is a no-brainer right well apparently not in this world because you know and, and <laughs> And so, and, and too, you know how I mentioned how, uh, like pretty much each individual like area of these of these long uh, freaking continuous slabs of tables, uh, were kind of, were separated by, uh, you know, these stoves. Well, another thing that separated them was by right next to the stoves. You no, know, there are all these freaking uh, little displays, like like tiny little displays on on the on the actual tables, and you know, and, and again, they, and they were labeled specifically as just fries, simply uh, no, not fries, so simply as sides. Yeah, just just sides. And and again, this restaurant had no French fries whatsoever, but they had a bunch of like the they had a bunch of those Smucker's sandwiches on them. You know, like the P, like uh, you know the usual PB and J and hazelnut. But I also saw some weird flavors that I actually I would actually kind of like to see in real life. Like uh, freaking, I remember seeing apple pie flavor. 
and birthday cake flavored Smuckers. And I'm like, ooh, that sounds good, you know. So I, I decided, hey, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, take them, give them a little try as a little dessert for my, uh, you know, for, for my big old slab of meat. <laughs> And then freaking, uh, you know, I, below them, you know, below the sandwiches, I saw some, uh, you know, I saw some cookies, some cookies and cream pop tarts with M and M's in them, and I, you know, I had to get one of those too. Yes, like that's another flavor I would like, kind of like to see in real life, because you you look at the freaking pop tarts in the cereal aisle or whatever grocery store you look at, you go to the pop tart section, they have all these kind of weird like candy like flavors. Now I'm over here like. What, what, whatever it's not even breakfast anymore it's just like it's just candy but and then and, and then whatever um this thing with this freaking flavor that i saw in my dream it, it definitely just it definitely took it all the way home like cookies and cream pop tarts with m&ms in them hell freaking yeah i don't care how, un- how unhealthy that is you know i gotta have it you know i i just gotta freaking have that man so shoot so I know it was a few minutes later. My meat finally cooked, and I noticed something strange about it. And and you can kind of guess where this is going. So many parts of my freaking big old like wedge of meat were, you know, especially the places that were supposed to be either dark or red or freaking pink, they were blue. Like there were multiple blue spots on them. Like I'm not talking about polka dots either. It's just like just random blue areas everywhere. And I'm like, huh? There is no way on God's green earth or on freaking dream world that there's supposed to be blue parts of me. And I'm over here thinking like, why would you want to eat this? I mean, this is disgusting. Why, well, like, the, the, this isn't even a natural color for anything. The, why would it want to freaking, you know, why, why would I want to eat this? Hell, the blue color, like it was an, it was like an artificial blue color. Like I'm talking about, you get, you get blue paint to point to paint, uh, like a 10 year old's room. Yeah. It was that kind of blue. It wasn't even a natural kind of blue, like, like freaking water. Well, then again, water is not actually blue. It's not colored at all but still you you get what i mean you know it was it was just so discolored and i was just so disgusted like i almost threw up right then and there just thinking about it <laughs> then again the good thing i never actually went through with it because i would have actually thrown up in my bed don't want to do that so shooting up but i was thinking well i already paid 15 dollars for this son of a gun might as well eat it but then <sighs> like Shoot, and I, I was even trying to deny myself, saying that you know, may, okay, maybe my eyes are just tired, you know, and despite the fact that I'm actually sleeping, maybe my eyes are just tired and I'm just seeing things. But no matter what, no matter what I could do to convince myself to actually go forth and eat the damn blue meat, I just couldn't do it, man. I just couldn't do it, and and it smelled just fine too, or at least according to my freaking senses, it smelled fine. But then again, thinking about it now. I think the like I think like part of the reason why I actually dreamt about dreamt about being in like a burger diner uh, was was because you know in, in reality you know in the waking world my dad was actually making some bacon uh, bacon and sausages uh, downstairs and I'm over here upstairs you know smelling that stuff and that's kind of influenced my dream you know and kind and again that kind of goes to kind of goes to show why the freaking despite the meat being blue you know it still smelled fine to me you know because. Shoot, I was I was smelling something that was completely different, uh, but anyways, but I, I, as I was uh, you know, as I was investigating this freaking blue all these blue patches of meat, freaking I had this weird flashback within the dream, and this is a post a supposedly this was freaking like canon to my freaking uh, like dream story whatever. So in this flashback. You know, I was, uh, I'm over here, you know, going, heading up to my room with nothing but a big old bowl, with a big old empty bowl, a spoon, and a carton of milk. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I, I, I know, pretty damn weird. And as I was going upstairs towards, towards my room, freaking, I look into my sister's room, because I noticed how the door was cracked open, and, and so, like, all I could see was her lying on her bed, you know, trying to take a nap. While all like all of her baby cousins that you know, she like I, I'm guessing the story was was that you know she was trying to babysit her ba- you know our, all of her baby cousins, but you know she kind of got tired of them, and you know they, they were just over here they're jumping all over the place. Like I'm not just talking about like just like, the, little, the little like little hops that you know that you see babies do. No, I'm talking about because this is Dream World, baby. This is how that's not the way things are done. It's got to get weird. So these damn 
like babies. They were jumping all over the place. Like I'm talking about like bouncing literally off the walls like a freaking cartoon. Freaking like just going around eating stuff like i mean eating everything's like like freaking like freaking goblins or something like that or, or whatever like fictional creature you want to freaking uh link them to like there, there's just so much freaking like chaos going on in, in, in this damn room she's just trying to take a nap because you see because you can as you can see she just done gave up on these little babies and these babies are just le literally eating everything in her room and and that was like okay what whatever i'm just gonna proceed on i don't want to have to deal with those kids uh, but and, and anyway so as i approached the door my uh, my parents came up walking the stairs uh, uh telling me that breakfast is ready and now i'm over here like well i i mean i already got breakfast up here and so i opened my door and a big old like or a bunch of big old mini cannonballs come bouncing and rolling out of my room yep and so I, I, I'm also thinking the story there was because uh, I, I think I also dreamt a little bit of context was that uh, so my buddy Caleb, you know, so like we were hanging out in my room and then for some reason you had to, you had this weird like experiment in his head saying that, hey, like what if I use this freaking shrink ray gun and what if I shrunk a bunch of cannonballs? But it, not, like and the weird thing was is that it, it wasn't just a normal shrink ray. It not only shrunk cannonballs, but they also made them edible and make them taste like cereal like Reese's Puffs or something like that and apparently it worked out well except you know the shrink ray didn't really shrink the cannibals too much you know they went from being the size of a bowling ball to being the size of a baseball and but they were completely edible though you, you can bite into one and you can eat it without no problem and so but anyways apparently it looked like he made a little bit too much because freaking they just all came out ro rolling out of my room as if you turn my freaking room into like a ball pit or something like that i mean it was freaking weird man it was just freaking weird shoot but anyways like as, as they were like rolling you know out of my room bouncing everywhere freaking the these baseball size freaking mini cannonballs and they, obviously you could tell they were dirty i mean they're still pretty black from being like pushed into a cannon and all, all that kind of stuff but you know i decided hey you know what these are edible uh they they're they're kind of tasty when i first tasted them so i'm just gonna I, I i just gathered a whole bunch of them put them into my bowl and i poured some milk and i just began feasting right then and there and uh like uh, again they tasted good in, in the dream but i'm over here like why am I doing this? Why am I enjoying this? <laughs> uh, and then my parents look at me disgusted. But whatever, they carried on. They went back downstairs to eat their normie food. And I'm over here eating cannonballs for Pete's sakes. But flashback to reality. Oh, the ghost gravity. Not really. So anyways, flash flashback to quote unquote reality. Freaking, I, I, I was, I was over, I'm over here looking at freaking my blue meat and thinking well it was weird how i can eat these those damn mini cannonballs but i i could not eat this blue meat you know so i uh, like no matter what i could do even with that weird flashback i, I just I, I couldn't get myself to eat the blue meat and so and and so I decided, you know what, I really don't want to waste any more time because I like time. I really don't want to waste my money because, you know, because I, I got people waiting for me You know, because they're over here. They already done finished their food and all their sides. And I'm up here just looking at my freaking like blue meat here, just trying to like just get over it, you know. But anyways, I didn't want to waste any more time. So, <laughs> so I decided to eat around the blue parts and, and, and just call it a night. But for some reason, you know, as I was doing that, you know, the cook slash owner of the diner as well as her husband came by to check up on me and and so i'm uh, i'm looking at these folks and they, they look pretty pretty familiar their names were tom and margarita and uh, they, i'm just looking at them like those names their appearances because margarita she was she like freaking okay so i'm just gonna be straight with y'all tom and, uh, i used to actually uh have these neighbors called tom and margarita they were uh they were, they were an old couple they used to live with, uh next door to us to, you know when we lived in uh you know in our first house and they were they were really nice people shoot i mean i, shoot, I remember tom you know th this dude like he had to be like almost seven feet tall and this dude is how like, he, he i think he had like long hair had a big old santa beard and he would always you know he wasn't just no big tall or he wasn't just tall big no he was also like kind of big big too 
You know, he always wore overalls and he was always working on like welding or working on something in his garage and freaking, you know, you, you kind of look like your typical farmer in, in, in a sense. And Margarita, you know, she was as tiny, like maybe four foot something, uh, like li- like a little uh, like white Mexican woman, you know, with uh, with like with red hair. And she was she was pretty uh, like she, she was kind of skinny but not too skinny but like the okay so in but in the dream though tom he looked pretty na- like he pretty much looked similar to how he actually looked in real life but margarita however she looked she was kind of big you know she was kind of big her skin was a lot darker and she wore glasses and you know she wasn't like she wasn't big big but she was kind of like roseanne like yeah R- roseanne kind of big you know that lady from the show and uh, I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't stand how she looked so familiar. Not just because she looked like the real, she kind of looked like the real life Margarita, but she looked like a different version of some other, uh, some other lady that I knew from a long time ago. More on that in a bit, you know. So, uh, you know, in, the, in these, in this old, in this other lady that she resembled, uh, shoot, like again more and more on that in a bit but anyway so i'm I'm, so i'm looking at this lady you know again she's exactly how i described to her how i would describe her you know she's 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 pretty dark but you could tell she was like you know both mexican and white you know she's kind of big like rosy and she was and she was obviously the cook too you know because she had the apron on you know she you can you can you can tell she's she has the hair now you can obviously tell she's this lady's been cooking you know all freaking day and she was gonna she she when she looked at me she was pissed man she was just freaking pissed like man she she looked like she wanted to freaking kill me and i'm like oh, huh like what did I do? I mean, actually, if anything, look what you did. Why? Why the hell is my meat blue? <laughs> uh, but anyways, you know. But uh, despite how freaking pissed that you know she was looking at me, you know, the, you know, her and her husband asked me, hey, you know, how how are things going over here? You know, and I told them, I, you know, it's fine, you know. And they also and they mentioned how you know they mentioned how they noticed that I it took me a while to finally you know eat my food you know after taking a long while just looking at it having a flashback and just go back and going back to go looking at it and then shoot and so and I, and I, and I was telling him okay look i'm gonna be straight to y'all you know l- look at this meat you know it should not be this color it's blue meat and then margarita she starts out blue meat <laughs> and the whole freaking diner just silences like even the live country music going on on, on on the corner you know they just they also go silent like like one moment you're hearing all these like freaking instruments the banjo the freaking acoustic and the drums you know they're going like and then all of a sudden blue meat <laughs> <laughs> like it just kind of sounded funny how they just silenced too uh, but but whatever so it, it was an awkward silence for like a couple like a like a couple uh a couple of moments but after a little while you know it, it, people began just they, they began whispering things around the diner you know and pretty much i think actually about the blue meat because because i guess I, I was i was eavesdropping it off a few of them and they were like oh what is, what is you saying blue me what the hell is this oh that's pretty nasty uh but well, whatever so that's when that's when the manager tama margarita's son you know came out of the kitchen office yes it was a kitchen office like I, I, like so you have the kitchen back there right but it also doubled as an office because there was a freaking desk and a chair there like right next to where like the freaking sink and the stove and all that would be so anyways he walks as he walks towards the scene everybody and i mean everybody the live band freaking all the customers everybody even the people on the smoke room and the kids on the playing ground they immediately just go went back to their own business and and you know the band everybody resumed form you know like it was just everything was normal again because i'm guessing it was just that intimidating but looking at this looking at the sun though though so he he looked like a very country version of this other dude i've seen many dreams before back in my lucid dream days kind of like margarita but uh so and so he wore shades even though we were inside he wore shades all the time he had a plaid coat on you know kind of you know kind of like what you see woody from toy story wearing and he had a buckaroos baseball cap like i have no idea what the hell buckaroos is probably some kind of store or whatever uh, in that world but anyways but he had his baseball cap said buckaroos and and, he, and no matter what he always had a lit cigarette in his mouth and then you know i then that's when it hit me like bam you know bam <laughs> freaking i recognize them so margarita and her son were basically alternate versions of 
Alberta and Jokes. Now, if you don't know who Alberta and Jokes are, you know, I've talked about them, uh, I believe I've talked about them uh, a while back in my Dreams podcast. And uh, so basically, you know, Alberta and Jokes, you know, back, and I said back in my uh, Dreams podcast that I used to have lucid dreams, and in these lucid dreams, I would always. Uh, like I always start off in this small little diner and you know Alberta she like Alberta and jokes they're like the owners of this diner and I would always talk to them you know just have a little conversation with them and then they would send me on to an adventure and Alberta you know she was this fat uh, you know Mexican lady you know you know o- always cooking up some good food and jokes he was just always there you know just being chill kind of look like a 50s greaser you know with the shades on with the cigarette with the leather with the leather jacket and the blue jeans on you know always looking kind of cool but he always gave me like you know good good advice on how to survive in freaking uh you know dream world and alberta was just always there to freaking uh show me southern hospitality but uh, 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 again so like god it was just kind of, it was pretty cool how i uh, recognized him in this dream here more after the message here we go Right, here we go back to the uh second part of the uh podcast actually to be honest i was not expecting for this freaking dream story to go on for more than 30 minutes so here we go let's uh let's let's, let's finish it off and see what else i can talk about anyways okay so i, I got i lost my place here in my notes because man i tell i'm telling you i wrote a whole lot of stuff here so last time i checked oh yeah so i recognize you know freaking margarita and her son you know as all, all basically alternate versions of Alberta and Jokes. Now, again, you know, they, they, you know, these are two friends I made, you know, during my lucid dream days, and you know, they would, I would always meet them in a diner, and you know, and after I stopped being able to lucid dream, I've never seen them since. Not even like randomly in a freaking like dream or whatever. Actually, as a matter of fact, I hadn't even like dr- like drawn them or anything like that. But despite that, I still remember remember them fondly in my head, and I still like I still remember exactly how they look, like down to the T. But anyways, uh, so, but you know, just seeing these old friends again, you know, they uh, it made me feel really good, you know, because I felt like, hey, you know, I had this feeling of, hey, you know, I had I didn't le- t- completely lose connection to them. I don't know, like I just felt so nostalgic at the same time as I was looking at these schools, and. You know, even though even though they look very different now, you know, I, and they don't know who I am, I, I still very much remember who they were. But then I looked around. I was looking around like this, this little diner here, and I noticed a picture on the, uh, on one of the walls, and and in the actual in <laughs> yeah. So in, in this picture on the wall, you know, there was a I, I saw jokes in Alberta. You know, given the diner to Tom and Margarita, how now? How how did it look? Well, you see, now uh, Alberta, you know, they they were both shaking hands. You know, t- jokes in Alberta were shaking hands with Tom and Margarita, and you know, and obviously I was looking around the diner, and I'm like, okay, so that's why this place also seems familiar too, because this was the same diner that I used to always come to whenever I would do lucid dream. and you know, and, and plus you can see them shaking hands. You know, you you can see like. What you call it? You can see Margarita holding a giant pair of scissors while Alberta is holding like a freaking, uh, while she's holding like a, you know, a part, part of a cut ribbon. So you can obviously tell that, yeah, like some time ago they gave the freaking, uh, you know, restaurant to them. Now I'm going over here theorizing. What if, what, what if like the reason why I can't lose a dream anymore, no matter how hard I try is because freaking, I can't return back to that diner anymore because it doesn't belong to jokes and Alberta anymore. And in the picture, yeah, jokes on Alberta, they look pretty old. Like, shoot, like, Alberta started, she pretty much looked like your average Hispanic grandma. And then freaking, uh, and and then jokes, they look pretty much the same, except with, except with, you know, gray hair and and a couple of wrinkles here and there. But he still looked like a freaking greaser. Shoot, he still still looked cool. Still had that same cigarette in his mouth. I mean, and, and, and then... And then so I, I was looking at freaking uh, and I was I was looking at that you know jokes in that picture and I was looking at the sun now you know and I and actually the okay so I, I actually I looked at the sun's name tag so get this his name was Billy Bob Joe yeah so the freaking yeah so the freaking sun his so Tom and Margarita's son you know was Billy Bob Joe. And he was basically an alternate version of freaking jokes. And, you know, I, I thought, hey, you know, that's kind of cool. But anyways, 
uh, in that same picture that I was talking about earlier, Tom and Margarita, they, they were very young. You know, they look like they were like in their mid twenties, kind of young. You know, and that, 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 you know, again, I, at that moment, that's when it clicked to me. Hey, you know, the same, this is the same diner back in times past. You know, and they they just passed on the torch. You know, to say the least. And I thought it was pretty cool. You know, that my own dreams are giving me like Easter eggs. You know, from from the old days. Shoot. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I can return back to this diner whenever I lose a dream, you know, in, in the future. But anyways, so back to the topic, the son's name, Billy Bob Joe, and he was using, he had this Boomhauer kind of voice. You know, have you seen King of the Hill? You know how Boomhauer kind of sounds. So, so he was using his Boomhauer voice to quietly, you know, scold me. He was like, hey man, you know, you better cut your drive right now, son. You know, we don't need no damn confrontation right now. We don't need no goddamn rumors or any goddamn old blue meat sucker lamb out of town. So uh, I suggest you get your bitch get strange and get the hell out of here. <laughs> And so and I was like, sure, you know, I was already on my way out. So I took, so I, so I took my, uh, my sweets, you know, all my schmuckers freaking, uh, you know, sandwiches. I definitely made sure to take the freaking apple pie in the, uh, you know, in the birthday cake flavor ones. And I, and I made my way out. However, before walking out entirely, I ran back to Billy Bob Joe and asked him, hey, you know, you want to make a podcast? You want to show up on my podcast uh, sometime? And he was like, Oh, sure. I think I'll think, I think, I'll think about it. You know, no, just, just give me some time. I think I'll do it. And <laughs> and after that, you know, as I made my as I made my way out the door, you know, I saw a bright light, and then I woke up. <laughs> and there you have it. That's pretty much my my blue meat dream. <sighs> okay, so the ending didn't take as much uh, it didn't take as much time as I thought it would either. Shoot, damn, like I'm kind of dumbfounded right now because I was. Uh, I, I didn't think, yeah, the, well, I mean, I, I, when I was writing this and then when I was reading it back to myself, okay, so I thought, yeah, this would definitely take up half of a good podcast, but I didn't think it would go over it and I'll have to slightly overlap in the second part. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what else? What else do I got? Well, if we're on the same topic of dreams. <clears throat> okay. So here's another weird thing I noticed. So glimpses into the future like you know usually people call those you know deja vus you know where they like deja vu i have been in this place before higher than the street you know whatever but anyway anyways so glimpses into the future you know they call it deja vus you know like you've been in this place before like you've seen this exact situation before but more often than not i'll have those like lots of deja vus but except like these are just kind of weird deja vus because they're nothing specific they're nothing like important and they happen at the most random times like i'll have a glimpse into the future like at one point like shoot i'll be like either just sleeping and i'll be and i'll dream of this one particular like very specific situation and you know, I mean, I'll either be sleeping and seeing that or I'll be like awake and just daydreaming or just looking up at the sky, you know, being up in La La Land. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, I'll picture that I'll picture again, another just exact particular situation. And then, you know, I just snap back to reality and think nothing happened. But freaking uh, so the other day, the other day I was playing, uh, <clears throat> I forgot, what was I playing? Shoot. Uh, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to really remember here. Okay, so I think I was playing Super Mario Galaxy on my, uh, on my Switch. And then, uh, and, uh, so I was at the very, uh, I was like at the very left side of my couch. You know, just, just kind of looking with the, with the corner, the corner of TV and the corner of my eye. And I was just kind of looking up at my anime posters, you know, and, and then like, it was about, I was saying, I think it was about like 8.01 p.m. You know, on my watch. As I was, as I was looking at that. And, you know, I was just kind of looking at some of the clothes I had in the closet. Because my TV's right there next to my closet. And, like, I don't know. My head was kind of tilted, too. So everything was kind of, like, you know, it was kind of crooked. But the weird thing is, it's that, like, you know, I... <laughs> So as I was just looking at that at that exact moment in time, like all of a sudden, like freaking, I remember this exact millisecond moment in time from a freaking dream I had like freaking weeks ago. I, I look at this exact freaking time frame and I'm like, huh? Like this, this feels really weird. And, 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 and again, I don't know if, I don't know if y'all like experienced that too, but that's just something that I personally experienced. And, uh, I remember having a more so back when I was growing up as a teenager. And again, 
Like, there'll be nothing important. It wouldn't be nothing significant. It wouldn't even be anything like that makes sense. Like, literally, one time, uh, shoot, I was, no, I was, I think I was about 14 at the time. And, uh, and, and I had this weird, like, glimpse in the future. Like, you know, I was just daydreaming in class. Now, I, I passed by this specific, uh, traffic light, you know, at this, some, some like, specific time around, like, 6 p.m. or somewhere around there and while listening to a specific song on the radio at that time like not cueing a song on, on, on like on a music player none no i'm talking about just specifically listening to that song at that exact time on a radio station you can never predict where they're gonna play so freaking so it's like i, I was daydreaming about the exact moment of time at school and i'm like eh, whatever but then like a month later you know we actually that situation actually happens and uh <laughs> freaking all of a sudden it just clicked to me as soon as i as soon as we uh as soon as we like passed on that second i was like oh my god i've seen this before and again it's it's weird how you know it's, it's weird how the brain does that you know i don't understand why and I, I'm, I'm just not and part of me is kind of skeptical about this now part of me is thinking okay you know may, maybe i'm kind of, maybe i think i saw these things before you know and just you know maybe i just think i saw these things before and you know i'm just kind of like i don't know i'm just kind of feeling weird at the moment you know that's why i have these you know so-called deja vus but another part of me is saying that okay this is pretty weird why am i having all these glimpses to the future of absolutely pretty much absolutely nothing or nothing of importance anyway but like, I, I I'm not sure. You know these, you know it, it's 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 pretty weird how this how this all flows. You know, <sighs> my guy, like this. I mean, it's breaking my mind right now. I don't know. I don't know if I'm the only person that experiences this, or if y'all out, you know, all y'all out there in the uh, internet world, you know, g- uh, get it. But what whatever. And actually, you know, the whole glimpse to the future thing. I was actually uh thinking about turning that into a mini cast but you know i thought hey i'm I'm on the topic of dreams anyways you know might as well uh you know talk about that real quick so let's see more topics on dreams (laughs) let's see well uh okay so mucinex flavored gummy bears yeah mucinex flavored gummy bears (laughs) what can i say about that okay so Again, it's a weird concept, but, but, but let me give it to you straight. Okay, so my it all started a couple years ago. So me and my friends, you know, we got this group chat. I mean, that's why we that's why I call us the group chat gang. And again, you're like normally I, I would like. Okay, so nobody, I don't think anybody ever caused their, you know, group of friends the group chat gang. Like, or even if they do, even if they do name them after a group chat or whatever, or they have like a name for the group and they name the group chat after that, you know, it would just be a single name. You know, pretty pretty normal, right? Well, except, you know, with my group of friends, you know, we have this group chat. We've been having the same one for years and like pretty much like pretty much like at random, you know, we'll just change the name. We'll change all of our nicknames and all that because there's always like a different theme going on freaking. So and so like uh, freaking a couple a couple of days ago, like uh, my boy Caleb, you know, he photoshops a, a picture of Victor. You know, because he, because he, well, what my boy Victor is doing is he has his hands together and he has his elbows on the table doing this weird, similar position to what Monica does at Doki at the end of Doki Doki Literature Club. And so my boy Caleb photoshops him with that same background and sets that as the freaking uh, group chat picture. And now our group chat is called, is currently called Just Victor. You know, kind of as a play on words, like as you know, with Just Monica. And, <laughs> and so, but before that though, freaking, uh, like, I, I totally forgot the name. Uh, I, th- I think it was like uh, your memes will come for you or something like that and the picture was just some weird like picture of, of this dude biting a bun I- i'm not sure it, it was a weird uh, like again well, our group chats never keep, keep the same names uh, they're always just random hell one time forget i just got bored and i'm like you know what I'm, I'm just gonna change the group chat picture to a jack in the box sign and just call and just call the call the chat gag in a bag yeah you didn't expect me to call that gag in a bag right well it's because it's also go it's also it ties into a into a whatchamacallit it ties into a little inside joke we have having our group gag in a bag because you know the real uncle larry you know he'll like he he won't call you know restaurants by their proper name you know he has a very well i'm not gonna say what he says for waterburger no i'm not saying that on this show because if if you want to if you want to if you want to know what he what he calls Waterburger, you can ask me in real life. But I'm not saying it on this show. Uh, it's 
kind of I, I'm, I'm just not saying it. but anyways uh so but he he calls like dairy queen dairy queer uh he calls uh jack in the box gag in a bag and uh freaking when he says when he says chick-fil-a he's like Chick -fil -A! you know but the the pho you know it's not it's not it's not just an f you know it's an f-u-c-k so but anyways uh yeah he also has all, all these like weird names for these restaurants but anyways yeah that's why that's why i just went ahead went ahead monday and said hey you know what i'm, I'm gonna change the group chat to the uh, jack in the box you know we're, we're like that that's the that's the theme the theme the theme lasted for a good week until everybody just changed changed it all up but anyways uh so where i was going oh yeah mucinex flavor gummy bears so uh, some one day, like three years ago, my boy Victor, he he changed the uh, the group chat name to Me Snicks Flavor Gummy Bears. And I'm like, what is this? And he was like, Me Snicks Flavor Gummy Bears. And I'm like, that sounds kind of weird. And, I, and I'm sorry, really thinking about it, I'm like, I don't think that would taste very good. <laughs> oh my god, man. Sure, I remember going to bed like around, like somewhere around that time. And uh, so and I started dreaming about Me Snicks Flavor Gummy Bears. Like, Shoot, and this wasn't an ordinary dream either. Let's see. So I didn't write this down, but I'll try to say what I remember. So freaking, uh, you remember those old Mucinex commercials? You know, where you got the freaking green dudes and because uh, they're mucus and they're living, they're like inside the damn uh, like throat or body or whatever. You know, freaking. <laughs> So I dreamt that I was like inside the body, you know, chilling out with them, you know, just having a couple of freaking, you know, a few bottles of Coke, you know, a few bottles of Pepsi, you know, some root beers. And we we're just, for some reason, we we're just drinking soda together. And it was just kind of, it was kind of weird, you know, was, I'm like just chilling out with this dude. And I'm like, hey, you know what? You know, you're not as bad as the commercials make you seem out to be. And he was like, yeah, you know, I got a bit, pretty bad reputation, but you know what? It doesn't keep me from having fun. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, okay. I'm actually talking to a like a blob of mucus, but whatever, you know. So, but anyways, so uh, like we we're watching TV while we we're, were drinking sodas, and then like on the TV, I see both of us on the screen, you know, ang angle to where I can see the back of my head, and I can see me watching the TV. I turn around and see that there's a camera, and then the guy starts coughing, and and the mucus guy, he's all like, oh no, here we go again. He's gonna cough us out, and then all of a sudden, like you know, we see giant gummy bears, you know, come out of his, uh, you know, come through his throat, and then it just just one particular gummy bear, it just big old red gummy bear, just boom, like a freaking just crashes itself into the middle of the of the, of the living room, you know. Me and the mucus guy, you know, we're we're looking at it and we're like, oh, this guy's eating gummy bears, but why is he coughing still? <laughs> and, like, and, and then he then he started listening. He was like, wait a second. He's not coughing anymore. What's going on? And so freaking the uh, the giant gummy bear in the middle of the room just unzips itself. And then it comes out all these freaking like like FBI agents in, in like white clothing. And like, but they weren't like FBI though. They, they're they're freaking like Mucinex Corps or something like that. And they just, they just started like slaughtering all like the mucus people in there. And I'm like, oh God, I got to get out of here. And then I, and then I realized... How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? So freaking, I, I just go deeper and deeper to the body, being chased by a couple of freaking mucinex dudes, and I'm over here just trying, just, just, just trying to leave. And then, you know, what, what I end up, <laughs> what I end up doing is that I make, I make my way all the way to the freaking like to the rectum, and I end up getting farted out of there. But the dream doesn't end there. So I like once I'm farted out of the guy's anus, you know, very good. I, I grow back to like normal size, and then, <laughs> and then like. So the environment I, I was in, you know, like so, so this dude that was that was taking the meat snacks flavored gummy bears, man. So like he he was just like some fat op, like some fat security guard officer. It kind of looked like Hot Wheels from high school. <laughs> now if you don't know who Hot Wheels is, okay. So he had the security guard. Yeah, so yeah, we had the security guard back in high school. We called him Hot Wheels because like. <laughs> Because I, I don't know what my school's problem with, like, employing security guards. Because when you employ a security guard, you want someone who can actually, like, do the job if the situation, you know, called for it. And But this dude here, he was just a big old fat guy on an electric wheelchair. Like, he could barely move his arms, and he couldn't move his legs at all. And so I'm, 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 I'm all like... Why would you hire this guy as a security guard? Like, what if, like, freaking fights are going on? What is he going to do? Roll over to him and go, Stop. Stop it, please. That's against school rules. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure what, what what they were thinking, but anyways, but this like the dude I was taking to give me some flavor gummy bears. It kind of reminded me of Hot Wheels, and again, you can kind of see why we call him Hot Wheels because he was freaking out. He was freaking on an electric scooter, but uh, any anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah. So freaking so he, but he was just he was not the security guard of a school this time around. No, he was like the security guard watching all these like TV screens, and again, he was he, he was still kind of coughing, and then he was like, "Hey, kid." here take these you're gonna need it it's it's literally a, a big old like a big old like family sized box of gummy bears that's and i say music next flavor and i'm like huh and this is, this dream just keeps getting weird and weird so i, I walk outside with this box of gummy bears they they hands me and they come come to find out like freaking you see all these zombies running around everywhere and, they, and all these zombies they're not just zombies because they're like there's an affection going on or because they like turn got turned into zombies by any normal means no all these freaking zombies were the results of the mucus people taking over their bodies yeah the freaking damn mucinics or mucus people took over their bodies and then freaking they just turned them into freaking like robots of sorts kind of like mechas in anime <laughs> but and, and, and anyways you know so I got the Mystics Flavor Gummy Bear, and I saw this bazooka. Yeah, this freaking empty bazooka right next to me. So I loaded in all the gummy bears, and I just started shooting these zombies, at, at, you know, in, in the masses. And then all of a sudden, these all start getting cured. Freaking by the power of gummy bears, I, I, I freaking cured an entire nation of people. I, I don't know what I don't know what I was going through at that time. I don't know what was going on in my head, but whatever, whatever. I. <laughs> I mean, I ended up saving an entire nation of people, you know, from being zombies by just shooting literal gummy bears, you know, uh, up their rears, up their mouths, you know, freaking uppercutting them with with the freaking gummy bear flavored gloves or, or I mean, well, gummy bear flavored coated gloves. Like, I don't know. It was so weird. Like, I like I had all these superpowers, too. Like I can like if I ate a if I ate like a fly fla like a fly flavored gummy bear like yes a literal like house fly flavored gummy bear I would fly you know if, and if I ate like a what you call it if I ate like a spinach flavored gummy bear I'd be like Popeye and I get these muscles and I just start punching it with my meat and my freaking meat snacks flavored gummy bears gloves and. <laughs> It, it was i was just going around freaking just punching all of them it was kind of like it's kind of like one of those games you know like a beat em up game where freaking like you know you're just beating up a whole bunch of waves of bad guys but except for my case i was i was i was literally punching the sickness out of all these people and just turning up reverting them back into humans and <laughs> i don't know what the hell I, I was going through at that time shoot i'm thinking about it now that's probably because I ate like a lot of sweets or something like that before bed. Because I used to do that like a lot back, back as a teenager. Because because let me tell you, let me tell you this, man. Let me just tell you this. Like as a teenager, like I, I so uh, nightmares. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I, I'll connect to this in a bit. But nightmares. So okay, as as growing up as a kid, you know, I I wouldn't have nightmares like. Uh, often, but I would have them like enough to where like I, I, I'd be scared of them. You know, I didn't want to go to bed partially because of them. And uh, shoot, and every time I had a nightmare, you know, they, they again they would be pretty damn scary. Shoot, like I, I would have freaking uh, you know, I had nightmares of like some some of my loved ones getting killed by like Freddy Krueger or some crap, or freaking nightmares of just scary clowns or or some some crap. You know, this this the usual kind of like uh, nightmares that you would expect, but. But as I as I grew up and became a teenager and started getting into more horror horror films, like I was like, dude, it's been like seven years since I had a good nightmare. I want a nightmare. And so what I so like I would purposely try to like you know I would purposely try to like you know uh, influence one. So I would watch scary movies freaking like late at night, you know, all by myself in the dark. And I would eat a whole bunch of candy before bed thinking that, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm going to I'm going to have a gonna have an awesome nightmare tonight. And you know what? Most of them are pretty mild. Like I never like if anything, I had more weird dreams than nightmares, you know, when doing all like the nightmare things, you know, because I'm over here trying to get myself to come up with a scary dream. You know, so because because by because uh, at this point in my life, you know, horrors and everything you know all, all these things they weren't really like scary to me they're more like thrillers you know kind, kind, kind of like you know action movies but with a little kick and i'm and i'm over here wanting kind of a kick to my dreams but whatever 
All, all I can get was weird. Uh, all I can get was either weird dreams of me with fa- music's favorite gummy bears, or freaking me like being in weird situ, like really weird situations and nightmares. Like I remember this one nightmare I had. Well, it wasn't really a nightmare. It was more of a thriller, and I think it was supposed to be a nightmare, but my mind took it a different way. So. So I'm over here, you know, I'm in this dark dungeon, you know, and, and I'm, I, I'm about to freaking like, you know, and all the, all these monsters are, are just coming out from the, uh, from the darkness, you know, the darkness of the fog in the background. And now they're like circling around me and I'm, and they're wanting to freaking eat, eat me, tear me apart, you know, like they, they want to beat me up too, for some reason. And I'm over here like, ah, uh, like all of a sudden I lost all like feeling in my arms and legs. Like I couldn't move them. Or I could, oh, I can actually, I can kind of move them, but I couldn't like you know moving very well so i'm over here just trying to like fight my way just fight my way to get like to actually freaking uh like move them and run away or try to like fight them but i just couldn't and instead of being scared i i, I got like a thrill out of it i don't know what i was i don't know what was going on in my head but i was like oh, yeah yeah you know this is kind of cool yeah i mean oh a certain death is looking at me right in the eye and i can't move but man yeah this is cool <laughs> I'm like freaking oh, oh oh my god! I'm guessing my nightmare just didn't like. I I guess I'm guessing my nightmare just wasn't satisfied that I was like scared or anything like that. Because what ended up happening is that like all the monsters they gave me this weird look. Like I mean they they, they all look pretty damn weird. Like I think about the like think the monsters ink uh, monsters. You know, but like they look but they look more menacing and they all just gave me this weird look that they saw me enjoying this and they're like. Yeah, let's get out of here. And they all walk back to their darkness, and I'm like, no, no, come on, come on, try to fight me. I want to fight y'all. And they're like, you're not worth it. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> man. <laughs> Shoot. So I woke up disappointed, and I was like, man, I want to fight some monsters. Ah. Uh. You. And I, I, let me tell you, that wasn't the only time I was. Ever, that wasn't the only time I woke up disappointed. Shoot, I think I might have actually talked about this in my dreams podcast too. But man, there were just multiple times where freaking like I would just I'll have these like weird, awesome dreams. You know, where I have superpowers, or where I find, where I get a girl, or whenever I get all this money, just to wake up, search through my pockets, and I'm like, no, my gold coins, my treasure. Where does it where did it all go? Ah, uh, shoot. But well, whatever, yeah. This I wanted to keep on going with the little theme of the podcast here. But anyways, that's really all I could think about for tonight's topic. Again, I wasn't, I really wasn't expecting for the whole blue meat thing to last more than thirty minutes. I was actually thinking about turning it to a mini cast, and I could have done that too. I really could have done that. Uh, but you, you know, I just wanted to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. A- a- anyways, I forgot what I was going there, but. Uh, so what, what else do I want to talk about? Okay, so real quick before I uh, close the podcast. Uh, so I remember a few podcasts ago, I, uh, I mentioned how, you know, I was thinking about turning uh, or turning my YouTube channel into like a po- kind of like a podcast channel, you know, because I'm not really making films anymore. You know, what I, what, I could, what I was thinking about is just downloading my audio from, you know, uh, Anchor, what I'm using to record this podcast right now, and then and just you know taking that you know, and taking that audio and getting footage of me just playing random games on my consoles and just kind of just putting putting those together and just put you putting down is yeah making that my new YouTube content. But I decided to go. I decided against it because I'm like, yeah, no, you know I don't want to have to do that, and I thought that's just too boring, or at least for my taste. But and then I got another idea. And so there are like there are many times where I want to talk about things on a podcast, but like they they wouldn't they wouldn't do any justice about me just speaking about them. No, like you really like for some of the topics I want to talk about, like you really need a visual, you know, like you like a visual will definitely also like help with the whole like you know comedy with the whole like you know getting more intimate with the topic. So I'm so I was thinking, you know, and I got this idea from stalking on my job the other day, and I, I was talking the uh, the pharmacy section. Now I saw I was, I was looking at the Pepto Bismol, and I was like, you know what, I could make a freaking YouTube video out of that. And so I'm, I'm thinking about na- renaming my channel from Xflix to uh, 3 a.m. Thoughts. And, you know, I'm also thinking about changing the logo for even here on Anchor 2 uh, or in Spotify, whatever you're listening to this on. And uh, shoot, you know, I, I'll kind of like make make uh, make YouTube kind of like my second uh, secondary like podcast, you know, place. Except, you know, I'm, I'm still going to be doing my main podcast here on Anchor and Spotify. But uh, when it comes to my YouTube videos, 
uh, you know, they'll, they'll just be like specific little, uh, you know, little topics to talk about. Like, uh, again, like the pet the business thing. I'm like, you know what? You know what? Hey, welcome. This is your boy, Asiago. Welcome to 3 AM Thoughts. And I want to talk about Pepto Bismo. You know, and I just start, you know, I want to start talking about it. You know, giving you the visual, you know, and, and, and it doesn't even end there, the Pepto Bismo thing. Shoot, like I really got the idea, and not just not just from that, but from when uh, I was I was looking at I was in my restroom the other day, and my and I noticed my sister has has an electric hairbrush, and I'm like, what? What? What's the whole point of this thing? Like, okay, so I, I get like stuff like an electric hair dryer or an electric uh or some, to some degree I can understand an electric toothbrush, but an electric hairbrush? Why would you need to plug in a freaking hairbrush? And so freaking I just thought, hey, I can make an entire video out of that. And I, shoot, and I thought, hey, you know what? So I can gather some little uh, ideas, you know, together. Kind of like how I had the mini cast put together, but I'll get some like uh, specific video ideas together, and I can ask what I can do for my channel. You know, it'll be, it'll be easier on me. You know, I don't have to like, you know, I don't, I don't have to freaking record a video every time I make a podcast. It'll be all nice, fine, and dandy. So I'm um, like, hey, you know what? Let's go through with that. So, uh, so again, as of right now, my channel is called Xflix. If you want to go ahead and subscribe to that, it's about to turn into 3 a.m. Thoughts. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, I'm just trying to get everything together, old film equipment, old, like, uh, I get my freaking video editor out, you know, we, and so uh, it, it's going to be, it's going to be lit, you know, I'm going back to the film, uh, I'm going, going back to filming, you know, for hobbies anyway, not as a career, but anyways, uh, stay tuned for my little outro here. See you soon. Alright, so yeah, welcome to the uh, welcome to the outro here. So, pretty much talked all I can about tonight. Uh, so, because I got another 11 a.m. shift and I'll be waking up at 3 a.m. tomorrow morning, uh, there'll be another podcast. Now, will it be another one-hour podcast or will it be a, a couple of mini-casts? I'm not sure. Stay tuned to find out. But anyways, uh, so, made it this far. Thanks for uh, for tuning in. Uh, you know, it, it helps me a lot with a watch. I'm not sure if it does. Like to be, to be honest with you, I mean, I just hear that. I hear that said a lot in the end of YouTube videos, and I'm, it's not like I'm making money off this or anything. Actually, I kind of am, but I'm making money off new uh, listeners. So what, 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 whatever. But anyways, I just, I, I do this stuff for fun. Thank you for listening. Thank you for just listening to what I had to say and all that. Anyways, uh, I got nothing else to say. So this is your boy Asiago signing off on three and on th- three and thoughts. Have you a good one? Now I gotta go and get my clothes out of the dryer. Okay, bye. Yeah, you know, I just noticed that it's uh, October now. So you know what? That means I get to say this all month long. Ooh, spooky.